in your article, uh, you had a you had a really good case quote that I had not seen before, and it's from the case Hart versus Massonary. It's a Ninth Circuit case um, from 2001, and the quote is that in writing a presidential opinion, quote, it is exacting and an extremely time-consuming task, and few, if any, appellate courts have the resources to write presidential opinions in every case that comes before them, end quote. And I thought upon reading that that I assume the author of that quote hoped it would, it would arouse sympathy for the court's practice of making certain cases non-citable, but for me, it had the opposite effect. Uh, I would argue that the fact that an appellate decision is precedential uh, and, that all the, and that the court labors all the greater under that reality is part of the guarantee the judiciary provides to litigants that its decisions are on the level because it tells litigants that, hey, you might not like it, but after careful consideration, this is the rule we've come up with that's going to apply across the board. It's nothing personal. This isn't just a rule we crafted just for your case. It's going to apply to every case that comes before us. But when a, a court decides to remove that precedential value, it seems to remove an important part of that guarantee that our opinions are precedential. They apply to every case, not only to yours. So what guarantee do litigants have uh, that the decision is not just directed at a particular result in their case? Uh, indeed, in an unpublished opinion, what is the opinion but personal? It's literally the result the court fashioned for these particular parties and no one else. I wonder what your what your reaction to that that extreme cynicism on my part would be. <laughs> well, I, I, it, it, it's not necessarily that it's just for those parties. Um, well, I mean, the opinion, because it is not published, is just for the parties. But the reason it might be unpublished is because the law might be so clear that they're just restating uh, the court is just restating a rule uh, from well-settled law. Um, you know, I've had I've had a few opinions, a few appeals where the other side was in the, was challenging in the court of appeal settled California Supreme Court law, and um, you know, I did very short briefs saying, you know, here's the settled law. And the Court of Appeal said, yep, that's settled law. We can't, we can't change Supreme Court law. And it came out in a very short, unpublished opinion, which is what the Court of Appeal should have done. Right, right. Certainly that happens sometimes. But in, in some cases, you get reasoning that that seems, you know, it, it it doesn't, it's not followed by citations to, you know, well-settled law. It's just uh, some reasoning that maybe seems, a, you know, not quite thought all the way through and leaves the reader a little bit unsatisfied and it doesn't have any uh, precedential breadcrumbs that you could follow it through. And you just wonder if, uh, you know, maybe this, this opinion was not thought all the way through. And I wonder if that's why it was unpublished. Um, well, I think, I, I think you're, you're, argument would be with the Court of Appeals decision not to publish a particular decision. If it's, if it's unique uh, or, or different in some way that's not uh, covered by other, other cases, and it's a kind of case that would be uh, likely to be valuable precedent to be cited by others in the future, then the court should be publishing the case. So I think, um, you know, the, the criticism should be more directed at, at the court deciding not to publish than at the, not, the no citation rule. Hmm. That's, a good, that's a good point. I thought maybe I would, uh, I would start a, uh, a public service and just start, just start sending out motions because anyone can move for publication of, an, of a, an opinion. It doesn't have to be one of the litigants to the case. So maybe that could be a useful, uh, useful public service. I just don't want my, my name to be mud <laughs> by filing, a, filing motions hither and yon. Mm -hmm.